hey guys kim here welcome to my channel in today's video it's gonna be about shoes so i recently bought four shoes actually three one is for my mom which is this one over here but you know what they're on sale so i'm just like hey get them deals so i bought this with my own money at nordstromrack.com everything will be linked down below go check it out of course don't forget to like comment and subscribe to support the channel and future endeavors anyway let's get into it shall we so um let's judge them by their boxes and packaging all right there's no shame to judge companies by their you know branding what they look like in the box and stuff but it's all part of the experience okay so i actually <laughs> i actually open everything so i will try to show you what it looks like initially but let's start with carlos okay so carlos santana if you don't know who he is where you've been but he's you know the amazing carlos santana who is a really talented musician so this is like his um line of shoes dude just just look at this box though these are like roses I feel like these boxes are really good to repurpose because just look at this it's so nice and fancy and like look at this look at this it's like gold and it's really nice tight so yeah so it's Carlos by Carlos Santana and then when you open it it looks like this so like really nice onion skin paper which is patterned and then when you look at the top of the box it says here about the milagro foundation which basically supports or uh un underserved and vu vulnerable children around the world so they do grants and tax exempt organization to work with children that areas needs in education health and arts and then for every purchase of carlos santana's shoes will be donated to the Milagro Foundation. So, you know, feels good to have to b purchase this. It's like, hey, I'm helping the world. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So, for this one. Okay. So, this one is really nice. Because, like, the picture on the side of the box really matches the inside of the box. But the thing is, when I bought this, I was like, oh, I thought there were just, like, uh penetrated uh, things but i didn't expect like like almost like rhinestone or something like the studs of diamonds in there okay and then i will show you what it looks like when i wear it but this is a size eight and a half i'm at eight and a half sometimes nine when my feet are a little bit wi wild wide by the end of the day but yeah so this is what it looks like uh uh, I don't really know how to feel about this because I only like walk it once inside the house But this one though because I, I haven't seen any video talking about these shoes that I bought and Any shoes whatsoever. So I'm just like, um, you know, what? let's make a video about this. So this one is 8.5 M So But the thing is this is made in China. I don't what I don't know what penny is um the heels I forgot how, um, wait, let me go get my ruler. Okay, great. So, the heels is about, um, oh, the struggle is real. So, the heels is about 1.5 to 2, depends where you measure it. I usually measure it, like, all the way over here, with those zeros over here. But yeah, it's a really manageable. Sorry, it's against the light. It's a really manageable, really supportive sole right there. So it's about 1.5 or 2 if you measure it that way. And um, the thing is, I feel like I'm just like wearing like an extended sock. I don't know, but I, I need to like test it for a couple more days or you know as i wear it i'll tell you what i feel about this maybe in future videos or whatever but this is what it looks like and i'll just do a clip of everything that i'm wearing one go but let's proceed what it looks like when i try to repackage it 
So this is the experience of unwrapping it, okay? So you got this plastic, right? And then you get another wrapper. And then you get this stuffing and this styrofoam. And that's basically the experience. So, yeah, like I said, I'll show clips of me wearing it later on. So hold on tight or you can scroll all the way in the end to see that portion. Alright, so the next one, it's still the same thing. But this one is a size 9, and this one is, uh, the color is Tony, 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 Tony Brown or something, tan or something. But this one is for my mom. So you get a plastic, and then you get this guy, which is recyclable, number 4. Feels good, and then I can recycle it, and then you get a stuffing. I feel like this one is more extra than the other one, but I don't know, maybe I will wrap it differently. <laughs> But there you go, stuffing, plastic, and then you get the styrofoam. It's the same heel size, and it's just a different color, but you get this uh, holes and then this rhinestones kind of feel. Uh, the difference between size 9 and 8.5, and of course, is very different. But just so you see... Just so you see, wait, is there even a difference? Wait, did I shut up? Hold up. Okay, eight and a half versus nine. I feel like there's really not much of a difference. Maybe it's just the inside is a little bit bigger. But I feel like it's almost the same. Of course, there's difference between feet sizes nine and eight and a half, but, um, Sometimes I'm like 8.5, sometimes I'm 9. You know, it's like one of those days. So sometimes me and my mom actually um, swap shoes from time to time. But it's mostly me who, who go to her shoe collection because, you know, <laughs> why not? So yeah, that's what it looks like. And then we'll move on to other things like those two. Alright, the next shoe is actually from BC Foodwear and this one is born in Cali California and it's vegan. Now they use vegan leather but they don't really specify what kind. So there's that and here is their website if my camera could just focus. There you go. And you know I really like I really like this packaging this ombre color. I really love it. And then this is their, their packaging paper, wrapping paper, and it tells you that it's vegan leather, conserves Amazon rainforest, doesn't require uh, land to graze cattle, and then use it, vegan leather uses 20% less energy to manufacture than animal leather, and then it's vegan, so it's cruelty free, no animals are harmed while well, liking the shoes. So, I don't know about you. But I'm trying to be more aware of my purchases. And, you know, it came to my attention about... I mean, I know about faux leather and stuff. Um, but the thing is, even though they say it's vegan or PETA approved, w this company doesn't really say, like, uh, what kind of... Like, how it's manufactured. Like, what kind of... Like, do they use PVCs? What kind of plastic do they use? Like, how is it... They don't really specify it. So, there you go. You can do more research about it. But I really like this. I actually use this. Um, I actually use this for business casual at work. And it looks really nice. Like, look at that. So, it's like around... Two, two and a half inches of heels and it's there's like cushion here so it's really soft and this one too it's actually pretty soft it's really good support and you look really fancy I don't know how to like showcase this hey look at that I like the buckle and I like that it is stitched this is the thing I usually look for if the shoe is stitched because usually or most likely if the shoe there's like stitchings in there it will last you for a long time so i'm really hoping i can use this for a very long time and so yeah this is still eight and a half sorry if it's very but that's what it looks like i love this so much you know i only use it once like 
you know, for now, but yay! All right, last but not the least, all right, last but not the least is our girl, Jessica Simpson. So, we're not really close, <laughs> but you know, I like Jessica Simpson. She, I think she's funny and really pretty. Um, but I really like this packaging doll. Like really simple. And I like the feather. I like that as in like, you know, look at that. Look at that shine. Ooh. Love it. And then the box is textured. Love it. Okay, this is her website. And then <laughs> sorry, this is a mess. Sorry, this is a mess. But just imagine once you open it it looks like that so tissue paper with feathers in it and then here's the shoe put it on the side but this is what it looks like well I'll try to recreate it when you open it so there's okay so there's a plastic and there's a foam try to remove it out of the plastic Remove it. Out of the plastic bag. And then there's another stuffing in there. This one is like it holds the form of the shoe. And then there's another one. Ta da! And it looks like this. It looks like this. Alright. Okay. Okay, the heels. Is around two two and a half and this is what the design looks like this one feels like I feel like I need to change this because it, it doesn't really feel like that glamorous it's just a normal you know strap but I really like the details you know I like the details I still need to get used to this kind of like cut off kind of thing but I really like the support it offers um, I still need to test this, like, everything, except for the BC footwear. I like it already. <laughs> There's, like, a random t-shirt paper there. Um, okay, so for the, I forgot to tell you about the Carlos Santana one. I feel like this one is a bit, um, it, it glides on, so I'm kind of worried to use this, like, you know, if it's, like, rainy and stuff. It's kind of slippery. Jessica, I feel like it's not so much. There's more grip to it. But then again, I'll show you everything, like walk you through what it looks like front, back, while I'm wearing it and stuff like that. And see you in a bit. Okay, let's start with Carlos Santana. So this one feels like it's a bit, um, there's a lot of materials up front. Like look at that bending action over there. Um, but I really like the coverage though, although, yeah, like I said, you know, this one's a little bit slippy, slippery, so I need to be careful, like, especially, this is like laminated wood, so I think it's really good just for outdoors, I need to be careful though if it's like rainy and stuff, but it looks good, especially with this pants, okay. Alright, for Jessica Simpson's shoes, looks like this. In front, feels like I only have three toes. <laughs> it looks nice. But the thing is, you know, there are times like my other foot is smaller than the other. This one's just right. This feels like I need a nine for this left leg. But I really like it. You know, it's kind of really comfy to um, wear. Although I'm already feeling I need to adjust like how I step on the left foot. But overall, I like the support of the heel. So, so far, I like it.
Alright, so I'm currently wearing the BC footwear. Look how cute this looks. I really like it. And it's so comfy. Like, it's soft when I wear it. Really nice support from the heel. I never thought I would like chunky heels, but now I do because they're much more comfortable. And if they're this stylish, why not? Now I'll show you the side action. Alright, so that's basically it for today's video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see more of these type of videos. Tell me in the comment section below what shoes you like or you don't like. Um, also, everything will be in the description box as per usual. Don't Feel free to check it out. It's not affiliated whatsoever. It's not sponsored, although I wish it is. Um, yeah, I completely forgot to film an outro so i'm just gonna grab like the intro and put it all together and see how it all works out words i'm out of words but yeah i hope you enjoy it and see you in the next one bye